Today, we're taking a walk through the garbage can. What skincare products have I used up and which ones are worthy of a repurchase? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video. This is part one of my two-parter empties for the fall. So I have separated all of the empties of which I've accumulated quite a few. And today is all about skincare. And the next video is going to be body care, hair care, makeup, beauty, supplements, all the other stuff. So once that video is up, I'll make sure that I put a link to it here as well as in the description bar below if you wanna check it out. So I love doing these empty videos because as you know I tinker a lot on this channel and if I make it to an empty like if I completely finish a product that's generally saying something now I don't like to waste products either so I do try to even use things in different ways like perhaps if there's a moisturizer that doesn't really work for my face I might try to move it to my hands or other body parts but these are the ones I've used up in the last couple of months and we're going to take a walk. So I'm doing this in sort of the order in which I would apply them and starting off with cleansers. Now looking at sort of the first cleanse. So starting with an oil, this is by DHC. This is the deep cleansing oil. I've used this many times. It's made it into many empties videos and this is empty. So I haven't repurchased the full size. I actually did buy a tiny little one just for travel, which I keep in my little travel bag. And the only reason I didn't repurchase this is because I wanted to try a new one. I don't have any idea how to pronounce this and I'm not even gonna try, I'm just gonna show it to you. So I picked this up from Stalvana. A number of people that I follow here really like it. So I'm just gonna give this one a try. I do like the cleansing oil for that first cleanse and I love the DHC. I'm sure I'm gonna repurchase it, but I just wanted to give something else a try. Next up is a cleansing balm. Um, another first cleanse item that I tend to use a lot of. And this one is by, I think they're pronounced Hamish. And this is the All Clean Balm. I think I talked about this in one of my faves and fails video. I didn't love it, I have to say. It's not very elegant. Now, it is incredibly affordable, it's super cheap. I think it's about six or seven euros. And while it is effective at removing the SPF and the makeup and the grime, I just didn't really like the feel of it. And I think there are so many other products that even fit within the price category that are better. So for me, it's not a repurchase. It was nice to give it a try. It had been on my list. It's just not gonna be one I go for again. CeraVe, it's kind of a dull product. Um, this is the hydrating cleanser. It's effective. I absolutely love it. It's kind of a gel, creamy kind of a situation. I keep this in the shower and I've just realized that I haven't repurchased it and only remembered right now. So yes, I'm gonna repurchase. I obviously haven't been in a chemist lately, which is kind of surprising, but I will be picking that up and putting that into the shower. Okay, next up is an oldie but goodie. It is probably my favorite cleanser if I could only pick one. This is by my beloved Allies of Skin. This is the Molecular Silk Amino Hydrating Cleanser. It's just packed full of so many goodies. And a recent reformulation means that you can actually use this as a first cleanse as well as a second. So for me, this is a one and done kind of thing for travel. I keep one of these in the shower. I also keep one by the sink. And I find that it is really hydrating. So once I've finished with my cleanse, my skin just doesn't feel stripped. It feels hydrated and it feels soft. And this is probably my favorite cleanser. Um, so yes, I have more. I'm kind of getting low. This is one of those products that I tend to pick up during the buy one, get one free sales. Um, hopefully another one's coming along soon so I can repurchase. Um, and by the way, I do have a discount code for Allies of Skin. So Mary will always get you 20% off. If you're looking for a Mighty Cleanser, this would be a recommendation. Next is all about the serums. Now I decided to go in alphabetical order. <laughs> there were just too many of them. I'm starting with another Allies product. This is my vitamin C product. It is the 20% vitamin C brighten and firm serum. I really love this formulation and it has about a bazillion antioxidants for firming, for brightening, for protecting. I mean, you name it, it's all in here. Now they have two different vitamin C products and this is the only one I can get in Europe. They have a different one in America, which is more like a water-based. This is not that kind of a formulation, which is why I really like it. It goes on much thicker, but it kind of melts into your skin, almost like an oil. Um, I think it's beautiful. It is deeply hydrating. And yes, I have another box right here. Um, just finish it up. 
It is fabulous. I love it. I always have it here. Again, one of those buy one, get one free sort of pickups. This is one of those for me too. So next up, probably not going to be a big surprise. This one is by Bioma. This is the hydrating serum. I have purchased so many of these and I love this range in general. One, because it's microbiome friendly. Everything that they produce is specifically there to help feed our microbiome exactly what it needs. And it's super affordable. I think this runs less than 15 euros. You can buy this in Target, you can buy it in, I don't know if you can get it at Walmart or not, but you can get it in Boots. This is very easy to get your hands on, super affordable. I think I've mentioned a few times, my only complaint is it never lasts very long. It doesn't seem like there's really 30 mils in there, but the interesting thing about the texture is it's very lightweight, but it still, it, it still feels hydrating. Your skin feels hydrated, which is unusual for something that's so thin. But I love it now. I'm noticing now I haven't repurchased it. If I could tell you the amount of serums that I have here that I need to use, but I will. It's one of those I reach for it very regularly, so I will be buying again. Next up is a rediscovery, and I think I mentioned this in my summer faves and fails. This is by Estee Lauder. It is the Advanced Night Repair, and this is a cult classic. It has been around for years and there's a reason for that. It has antioxidants, soothing ingredients, probiotics, and it also contains their own proprietary peptide, which is tetrapeptide 32. And by the way, you have no idea how many times I had to say that to get it right. And that is to support our skin's natural rhythm. So it's about protecting during the day and repairing at night. My skin loves this. It feels amazing. And yes, I did buy it again. And it's funny because my mom turned me on to this. She gave me a little sample when I was last home in Florida and it kind of reignited my love for it. So that's one that I'm going to make sure is always in the stash. Okay, next up are these two little empties. These are refills of a serum by iRay. And I've actually done a video about it with my friend Jody Lynn over at Aging Naturally with Jody Lynn. And I will put a link to that down below if you want to check it out. This is a very unusual and really innovative skincare line. This is what the bottle looks like. It is called the Deep Tox Radiance Firming Serum. So these are the refills that go inside. So their products, I think they have three or four in the range, are designed to help support our natural lymphatic system. It's fascinating stuff. So what it does is improves circulation. It helps to get rid of toxins. The effect I found shocking. It helps kind of lift the before and after videos of using this system were really surprising. Um, I saw a difference and I found it very effective. So I did purchase, I think I purchased three. Now I have run into a problem with the refill system. The pumps don't seem to work as effectively after you take it out and put a new one in. Now they did send me a new one after I contacted them about it, which I still need to use, but I think it's a really unusual system and I probably will continue to reuse. So I have this one, which is not quite empty. These are empty and I have a backup. So I'm gonna to continue to use those and we'll see what happens. So next up in the serums will be no surprise. This is by Maysama. This is the Green Rooibos Pressed Serum. I use, this is pretty much in every empties, I use it every single day because I use this product in conjunction with my LED light therapy. If I use this 20 minutes before a session, what this does is help boost the effectiveness of that LED session. It also helps to protect skin from the free radicals that are created as a part of the LED process. Um, I will never LED without this. It's just brilliant, I love it. I buy them in three packs. I think this is the second bottle in my last three pack. Once I get down to the last bottle, I just reorder. I do have a discount code for Maysama. If you use Mary 10, you get 10% off any order. So that is just one of those duh reorder things that I buy all the time. Okay, next up is by Niod. Now this is an eye serum. It is called the Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate. I love this product. I've gone through so many bottles of it. It has been instrumental in helping reduce the crepiness under my eyes. If you know me, if you come to this channel, you know this is where I feel I'm showing my aging and it's not even the wrinkles so much as it is the texture of my skin. So this has been vital. I've probably gone through, I don't know, six, seven of these. I have no idea. Now, I haven't repurchased it yet. Now, I probably will, but I haven't yet. And the only reason I haven't is that I was sent another product by a company called Circel 
and they're based in the U.S., and they have a range of products that are also quite interesting too. So their products are enriched with an oxygen complex that's supposed to have a really positive effect on skin rejuvenation. This is called the Eye Oxygenating Serum, and I have to say, I really enjoyed it. So oftentimes when things are sent to me, I try them out a little bit to see if it's something that I want to incorporate into a routine in order to test. This was one of the products that I did. So once I finished the NIOD, I took this out, and it's fantastically hydrating. It's a lovely serum. I keep this in the fridge and I'm using that every day right now. Now, when this is empty, what's going to happen? And that's where the true question arises because it's US based, which means I have to import it from the US, which for me is very costly. And I try to minimize that with air miles as best I can. And it's also quite a bit more expensive. I think this guy is in the region of about 50, 60. And I think this is in the region of about 120. So not sure. Um, pretty sure I'm going back to this. It's an oldie but goodie. It's great small. It's great for travel. Um, but I have to say I'm really enjoying this one by Circel too. One more in the serum category. This is by my beloved True Botanicals. Um, this is called the Chibula Active Serum. Now I love this brand. These guys are out of Northern California. I use a lot of their products. They're so lovely. So this is a super hydrating serum that's supposed to help combat all of those signs of aging. So this is made with the Chibula, which is from South and Southeast Asia. It is a fruit. So this is said to be one of the most powerful and bioactive antioxidants available. Now it has a lovely texture. I do find it deeply hydrating and I sometimes mix that with their vitamin C powder. So you're combining the two of them together. It's beautiful. I love it. Now I haven't repurchased it because again US based don't have distribution over here, which means it's very expensive for me to import. So it's one of those things that I'm probably gonna pick up on my next trip back to the US. I just love the range and I have a little stash of their stuff, but I'm out of this. So I need to wait until I circle back to the US, but it's beautiful. Oh, I do have a discount code for that too. If you use Mary 15, you can get 15% off your purchase. Okay, so now we're moving into mists. If you know me, I'm a cereal mister, and I'm surprised I only have two, and one I don't use very often, surprisingly enough. I'm doing lots of tinkering there and experimentation, so I have a lot in kind of rotation. The first one is by Aven, and this is a lovely, it's called their Thermal Spring Water, I think it is. I don't have my glasses on, can't read it. Um, this is just a little guy I picked up while traveling in an airport because I, me getting on a plane without a mist just never happens, and it did, <laughs> so I had to buy one. I think it's lovely. It's fine. I don't really use it as frequently as some of my other ones. Um, I tend to use this when I'm doing devices and I need a little bit of a spritz. If I'm doing microcurrent or if I was doing radio frequency and my skin was drying out, that's what I use this for. So am I going to repurchase? Probably not. I mean, unless I find myself stranded and need it, which might happen, but it's not sort of an active part of my routine. The next one is by the company Geek and Gorgeous. And you guys, they're doing really, really cool stuff. I think they're Swedish. I don't know, somewhere in Scandinavia. And they have incredibly affordable products with really good inky lists. This is called Liquid Hydration. And I actually only realized in a video recently that it's a toner. I mean, I don't really know the difference sometimes, um, but it's a very soothing toner. It has 5% panthenol and I loved it. And I think this was less than a tenner. I do know they are now distributing in the US, so that's really good news for you guys over there. Um, and in fact, if you're looking for a very effective retinaldehyde, theirs is supposed to be amazing. I've used their vitamin C, which is fantastic. They say it rivals the SkinCeuticals. This is a fantastic brand and worth checking out. So affordable. Um, I haven't repurchased it because I have a few other things that I'm experimenting with right now, but I will. If not today, maybe tomorrow. Next, we're moving into moisturizers, smaller categories as we move on now. The big heavy hitters are my serums and those are gone. So first up, Allies of Skin. I think this is in every empties video. This is the Peptides and Antioxidants Firming Daily Treatment. Wow, you know how much I love this. It's in every video. I travel with this because it's a one hit wonder. It has everything in it. So oftentimes I don't even take a serum. I just take this. It has brighteners. It has antioxidant. It has peptides. This is just a one and done Superman of moisturizers. It's all empty. And oh yeah, I have another. In fact, I have a couple. This is again what I purchased during the buy one, get one free sales because it all of a sudden makes things affordable. I think I'm actually on the refill program now that I think about it, which also brings down the cost. It's brilliant. And again, Allies of Skin, so Mary will get you 20% off. 
So the next is another product by Allies of Skin, another product that I cannot live without. It is the Peptides and Omegas Firming Eye Cream. This has been a staple for I don't even know how long. It's in every empties video. It's in my travel videos. This has been responsible for the hydration, the plumping. So like all the Allies products, it's a heavy hitter that has lots of things in it. It has omegas, it has peptides, it has vitamin C, it has bacuchiol. So for me, sort of the, the combo that I just don't want to live without are these two. So my Nyon goes on first, and then my Allies of Skin Peptides eye cream goes next. I do this every morning and every night, and it's just the perfect combo. Um, I have loads of these because I always stock up during the buy one, get one freeze. So I do have another one that's open. I have at least one or two kicking over there because I love this so much. Never, ever, ever without it. In fact, I haven't even really tried any other eye creams because I like it so much. So the next one I got as a part of a little kit and I loved it so much. This is by Josh Rosebrook. This is called the Ultra Peptide Cream. Oh, it is beautiful and empty and I'm so, so sad. Um, I had never tried any of the moisturizers. This is the first one I've ever tried and I loved it so, so much. Josh Rosebrook for me is a harder to get my hands on. Again, it's US based. You can also get it very easily in the UK, but I have to import everything from the UK. Thank you, Brexit, and it cost me a fortune. So I haven't repurchased this. I wanna repurchase this. It is beautiful. It is rich, it is heavy. Now I know that he also has the Vital Balm, which I've not tried and everybody tells me I need to, um, but this Ultra Peptide Cream, if you like heavy, really moisturizing creams, this is gonna be right up your alley. I love it so, so much. Um, so I'm gonna repurchase it. Maybe if I'm in the UK and I'll pick it up there or something, but I love it. And I want a bigger jar. I don't know if they have a bigger jar. That's a small jar. I think it's a 30 mil. I think they also do a 50. Mama wants it. Okay. Sunscreens. Sunscreens are the most important thing to do for anti-aging. I'm just going to say it. If you are under the age, well, it doesn't matter what age you are. If you're not using sunscreen every day, you are doing yourself a massive disservice. The only thing that I have here are Korean sunscreens. I love them. Now, I experiment with loads. I have loads of sunscreens that I really, really like. I keep going back to these and repurchasing these more than anything else. They're so affordable. They are so effective and they do lovely things for the skin. Now, the first <laughs> actually isn't even an empty. It's more of a concern. Now, I've talked about Beauty of Joseon so many times. I think this was my favorite sunscreen of last year. This is called the Sun Relief Rice and Probiotics SPF 50. Love. Now, I usually buy my Korean sunscreens from Stalvana, and I didn't. I bought this off Amazon. Now, I buy loads of things off Amazon, don't I, Gary? <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I bought, I think they had two for 20 on Amazon. And while I was there, they must have sensed it. Um, I bought it. You guys, it doesn't, it doesn't smell like Beauty of Joseon. I don't know if this is a real product or not. So I stopped using it. Like, it smells great. Don't get me wrong. But this does not smell. So unless they have reformulated it into something that smells totally different, this is not an authentic product. I don't want to put it on my face because I don't know what it is. So it's not empty, but it's going to get thrown away, which is a shame. Now, luckily it wasn't expensive, but I hate wasting product. I don't even know if there's sunscreen in it. Now, so if you guys are users of Beauty of Josan and have noticed that they have changed their formulation, if you buy it from Stavana or from Beauty of Josan directly, please let me know. I won't throw it out until I hear from you because that broke my little heart. It is such a beautiful sunscreen, but it doesn't smell right. It doesn't smell the same. It smells lovely. It doesn't smell the same. I have two other ones here, also Korean. The first one is by Isn't Tree. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel, and this is an SPF 50 PA++++. I actually think this is my favorite sunscreen. I've tried loads, and I love them all, but this is the one that I keep reaching for over and over and over again. It's lightweight, but it's so silky. It just feels so lovely, and it feels you know, hydrating and my skin looks dewy, but it's not too heavy, it's not too rich, even though I like rich. This isn't those things, it's very lightweight. So if you don't like to wear sunscreen, I think this might be one that would work for you. And it's cheap as chips, it's not expensive. I buy it off Stavana. By the way, I have a discount code, SHOP SOM, I think gets you 20% off. I've been buying these in two packs, so I already have another one in the bathroom and I will repurchase. Like, I have so many sunscreens that I'm using up and I'm enjoying so many other ones, but this is the one I keep going back to. 
I think it's my favorite. And another empty in this space is by Skin1004. It is called the Madagascar Centella Water Fun Sun Serum. Another beautiful, lightweight, sort of radiant finish. I mean, oh, they're just all so lovely. This one is beautiful too. It's not as inexpensive as the Isntree, um, but I love it and I've used it and it's gone. I haven't repurchased it, but I might good enough to repurchase. Okay, next up are my retinoids. So this is by Skin and Me, and that is my prescription tretinoin combo, right? Now, this is only available in the UK, so guys, forgive me if you are outside of there, in which case there are some US ones I'll reference in a moment. Um, and I have been using this, I don't know, for maybe six months now, maybe a little longer. And it's been a really good program because I was getting back on the tretinoin train after getting off it for a couple of years due to sensitivities and just overstimulation of my skin. And it's such a slow introduction. So their philosophy is you need to be using it every day. So in order to acclimatize and to help your skin get used to that, it starts so, so small. So my formulation started at 0.08 with a 4% niacinamide and a 4% um, azelaic acid. Now, when I first got it and it said 0.006, I was like, that must be a mistake. And I emailed them and it's like, why is this so low? And they said, that's how we do it. We will up it every month just to help your skin adjust because there's nothing worse than going in heavy. Your skin flares, freaks out, it flakes, it goes bonkers. So this is their way of overcoming that. So I think I was on 0.006 for a couple of months and then it went to point. 011 and 0.015. So where I am now is the 0.015. Now that's still low because in that in my previous experience with retinoids, I was up at the 0.1. I was at the strongest you can get and my skin really didn't like it. So I'm perfectly happy with this approach because I'm using it every day. Now the other thing that's so great about this, it has the little notches in it that tells you how many days you have left in each one of these. So you click it and it turns a notch so that it tells you what's left. Now, I never finish one of these because I take every fourth day off, I know I'm not supposed to, in order to do an exfoliation. Now, I'm hoping that I can add this back in. I might start experimenting with that soon just to see if my skin can tolerate it on the same night. It might not be able to, but so far I'm absolutely loving this. And the way that I've introduced this into my routine is that I do all my skincare, usually around six, seven, eight, nine, somewhere in there. And then I wait a couple of hours and then I go back in and I apply this um, before bed. So it's sort of sandwiching. Now it's many hours after a lot of the stuff is really sunk in. So it's probably doing a little bit more than if I'd slapped it on at the end, but it's also not gonna heavily sensitize my skin. So I absolutely love this. I also have a discount code if you're in the UK and you wanna try this out. I have to look it up because it's very long. So it's M-A-R, it's Mary H-E-L-9-J-X-Q. And of course, Gary's gonna put that up on the screen. So if you wanna try it out, I think you get a free month. I think it costs about 20 pounds a month. Love it, and I will continue to use it. And then there's one last little guy here, um, and this is the mask that I'm using on a very regular basis. This is also by Josh Rosebrook, and I got this as a part of a kit. It was kind of a freebie. I had never tried it. Oh my gosh. Now I have done videos about this product on its own. And I also did a video about this in combination with another product that has just transformed my skin. And that's the Dermalect Beauty Sleep Serum, I think it's called, these two together. Oh. So the nights that I am not doing this, which is every fourth night, all I do is wash my face, I apply this beauty serum, which is an exfoliator first, but has the most impressive inky list I have ever seen. And then I put this over it. Now. This is not for the greasy folks of the world. This is for the me's, the dehydrated, the dry, that skin just doesn't feel plump or juicy. This is gonna make your skin feel plump and juicy. Amazing. And you put it on, it's like an oil slit going on. And you know what? That's what I'm going for. It is Donut City and oh my gosh, I love it. So I did these two last night and I woke up this morning and touching my face. Oh, so I do have another one of these. I ended up luckily finding another kit um, that I paid to import, but the value was so good. So I think this is 50 mils. I'm getting low on my other one. So I'm a little nervous how I'm gonna refill it because it's just something that I don't wanna do without. In fact, I have scooped it out and put it into a teeny little travel thing. So when I do my international flights, which I do quite frequently, um, I bring this on the plane. I take you know all my stuff off on the plane and I put this on. <gasps> Trust me, if you do long haul flights, you need this in your life because this will transform how you feel when you arrive. 
trust me, you can thank me later. So guys, that is it for today's video. That is an overview of the things that I am finished and whether or not I intend to repurchase. I mean, I think most of them are a yes, which is great. Um, but so many goodies. Sometimes I just wish I had more faces <laughs> so that I could experiment with more things. But do you see any favorites in here? Is there anything that you want to try? Is there anything that you think I should try based on what you've heard here today? And I'd really like your thoughts on the beauty of Josan if you're a particular user yourself. So thank you so much for joining today. And if you like the look of this video, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel because so few of you actually subscribe. And also give this video a thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Bye. Oh, one, one. No, point oh, oh, one. Uh, no, we're going to have to get that. What am I on? Point oh, oh, nine. Shit. Point oh, one, six. Is that what I'm point one? <laughs> I actually don't know. I was on point one before. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I think at this stage, I'm at point oh one. No, at this stage, I'm at point oh two five. So it is, no, it's not even that high. Shit, I don't know what I'm on now.